Hard Night Coffee back with you and we're showing you how to make a proper bloody coffee. Too many people get this wrong. Now, first thing you've got to have, good quality coffee. We get our coffee specially roasted for us by Barista Coffee Company. This is our roast. No one else has it and we love it. It's a single origin organic bean from Honduras and uh, it's probably a medium to dark roast we have. The other one that we've come across very recently, chili coffee. This stuff, oh my goodness, it is the bomb, man, especially in winter. It has a beautiful little spice at the back of your palate, and it really warms up the cockles and subcockle areas of the heart. Ooh, it's good stuff. Now, once you've got your good quality coffee, then you've got to, uh, then you've got to figure out how to make a proper coffee with this stuff. That's what we're going to be doing next. Hard night coffee back, and we're not cooking anything this time. We're going to show you how to make a proper coffee. This here, best machine ever. Fracino, runs on gas, runs on electricity. Absolutely beautiful. This is what we use here at Hard Night Coffee. Now, I'm passionate about coffee, so I can't promise there's not going to be a bit of colourful language in here. So apologies, Mum, for the start, for the um, swear jar being put away. But this stuff, you've got to get it right, people. The quality of the coffee really matters. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so first thing you've got to do every morning, you've got to set your grind up, right? This makes a big difference to the quality of your coffee. You've got to set it up for the humidity, for the temperature, for the kind of coffee you're using. It, it makes a huge difference if you get this wrong. So... I've set mine up already this morning. We've had a bit of a morning tea session here and we've made plenty of coffee out of this. So I know that this is gonna make two shots of coffee. Right here. Oh, giddy up, fresh ground coffee. That's the other thing too. Fresh ground coffee is best. Now, I like to use this little sucker here to, so I don't spill too much. Start with a nice clean group handle, right? Whack your coffee in there. Now, the amount of coffee you need to make a good one, it should be, when it's loose, it should be pretty flat across the top. This is a double group handle. Whack that down in there with my tamp pressure. Oh, polish it, polish the biscuit. There we go, and she's done. Right. Now that is going to be a bloody nice coffee. Clean the top off. Whack her in here. Boom. Here we go, people. Coffee coming up. Now I just sort of start this off. Right, there we go. Now, you'll see that it's just curling around the bottom but edge a bit here. That's exactly how you want to see your coffee pouring. Nice and slow and steady. Now the creme is coming through. Look at that. Now the next thing you want to notice is, you see all this crema here? That's beautiful, that is, like a Guinness. That's a beautiful double shot espresso right there, people. One shot, two shots actually, of hard night coffee. Now, before you make another coffee, this is very important. Clean, run water through it, get rid of your biscuit, there's gonna be coffee left over in this thing. See this? There's coffee in there. It's already been used. You have gotta get rid of it. None of this just put more coffee in, bang her down and whack her up. No, no, that's shit. Don't do that. You'll get rubbish coffee. Clean it properly. Get all those coffee grounds out of there. Right? Hit her again. Beautiful, fresh ground coffee. Right here. Learn a few tricks to amuse the fans, hey? Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, look out. <clears throat> Wonderful. Banger in there. Tamper down, just like before. And you'll get good, clean, consistent coffee again. Right? Every time. Same thing. Always clean between every coffee. Doesn't matter if people are waiting. They'll wait or they'll walk away. Doesn't matter. Coffee matters. We'll see you next time.